before it's too late. Another species of lemur that appears to get up to some strange tricks are these amazing dancing Vero Sifica. Another of Madagascar's threatened species. This so-called dancing has no significance. It's just another way of moving from A to B. And it's unique to this one kind of lemur. And even if it were ritualistic, or part of a mating process, it wouldn't be much help in saving this species. As with the ringtail, this lemur only has a single mating season, which adds to the problem of conserving this species. While the other species of lemur we have seen live on government reserves, these civicas live on a private reserve in southern Madagascar. A reserve called Berente, a short drive from the port town of Fort Dufay, which dates back, as far as European settlement is concerned, to around the 1500s, when a group of Portuguese sailors were shipwrecked there. And a look in the harbour today shows nothing much has changed. Henri de Ulm, who owns Brenti, operates many of his businesses from here. He says Brenti began when his father arrived in 1936. He arrived in the valley and discovered the wildlife there. Monsieur de Ulm's father began a sisal plantation. Sisal is used to make ropes. But he decided to preserve the valley. And he preserved around 1,000 hectares of rainforest for the wildlife. The population of the region has grown dramatically over the past 30 years. And Monsieur Om says, if his father hadn't preserved the 1,000 hectares, which is Berenti, then today it would not exist and neither would the wildlife. He says he thinks that everything would have disappeared if it hadn't been for the establishment of Berenti. Berenti is one of the most famous reserves in Madagascar. It has done almost as much financially for the region by bringing in ecotourism as his sisal plantation. Uh, la population commence à comprendre que euh, l'écotourism est une richesse pour Madagascar. He says now the population is starting to understand that ecotourism can bring wealth to Madagascar. At the same time, it educates the people about the importance of preserving the ecosystem. He says the Malagasy are learning that the conservation of their nature is important for tourism and the key to their and the wildlife's future. Vous avez des plantes, vous avez des animaux qui n'existent qu'à Madagascar. Ça, autrefois, personne. So, with people like Monsieur Dhom and the others, Madagascar's unique wildlife has a chance of survival. These people are acting, we hope, before it's too late. Ecotourism has got a, a lot of potential for Madagascar. The Madagascar has still got this mystique which uh, I, I think attracts a lot of people to come here. But it would be wrong to think that the protected areas can exist on the strength of ecotourism alone. 
Whether we've acted before it's too late to save Madagascar is it really will be answered in the next decade. It's really crucial what happens from now on. But it really depends what happens in the next few years. So hopefully we can make it happen. So the next few years are crucial. And all the experts agree that survival of Madagascar's amazing wildlife and the improvement of the Malagasy's way of life are interwoven. The benefits of the old world have come at a cost. It has lost much of its wildlife, and many people are suffering from an emptiness of spirit. Indigenous people will tell us this is because modern society is divorced from the land, from nature, from creation. There's not much we can do to change the old world, but we can help to form the developing world by encouraging the Madagascan government to continue to establish reserves and national parks. By encouraging foreign investment and industry to be eco-friendly. And while eco-tourism isn't a panacea, it is a start, and the world must continue to help this tiny nation to develop responsibly. In short, if Madagascar's human and wildlife populations are to survive and coexist, then they must be helped not to make the same mistakes as the old world. If not for the wildlife, then the people. If not for the people, then the wildlife.